so sure. varsha uh, uh, last in uh, you you earlier told us about uh, this situation uh, where abhi had left uh, madhuri's team or wanted had said that he is going to leave uh, madhuri's team and madhuri had approached ridesh uh, to to find a replacement for abhi so can you just walk us through what happens then you know what does ritesh do what does madhuri do how does this whole uh, scenario sort of play out yeah so so why is it so important you know for madhuri to replace abhi right away uh, as i said abhi was somebody who was you know part of her core team delivering a very important project for a marquee client uh, now she needs a replacement as soon as possible the typical hiring times uh, for people in the it sector at a lower level would be anywhere around uh, you know 2 months and goes right up to 4 to 5 months the average um, recruitment time is actually around 3 months but she can't really madhuri can't wait for 3 months so she tells uh, ritesh uh, just check if we have anybody internally so how do you really get to internal sourcing and this is what we call internal sourcing uh, the idea of internal sourcing is that you look for profiles as we said you know you have to have those kind of competencies those kind of experience and profile so that it fits in with uh, with what abhi has been doing and somebody who can pick up quickly transition from what abhi was doing the best person who can do this very quickly would be somebody who knows tech enterprises systems knows how tech enterprises works and is already within the system uh, so this is called internal sourcing and people may want to move to madhuri's uh, team uh, to fill abhi's position because you know they see it's a promotion so they know abhi is a software a senior software engineer okay i have 3 years of experience if i apply for this role maybe i'll become a senior software engineer currently i am a software engineer so that's called promotion so oh sir you mentioned something people could move to madhuri's team so re- abhi's replacement could come could be from outside madhuri's team also is it absolutely and that's what internal sourcing is all about so there are uh, people in other projects also right but this particular project might have some competencies i was saying right people are interested in picking up different skills they want to know what's happening say in another um, in in another part of the project and that's how they think you know learnability will happen their resumes will grow and obviously that's how they'll get a better salary package so uh, so there is either a promotion or there is as what we call a lateral movement so even though i am a software engineer senior software engineer i might want to move to uh, madhuri steam because it gives me a different kind of exposure and that's something that i would really like to do and that's where a lateral movement comes in now there is typically varsha there is also some additional people that the company has kept in reserve right exactly like bench bench in it exactly in exactly so just coming to that the lateral movement can also happen through bench now bench is part of the buffer that is maintained by it it services organization because one is people have to go on leave i mean there is 15 days of leave that everybody gets um and as you saw there is attrition so it makes sense for organizations to keep you know maybe 7% buffer maybe 5% buffer maybe 8% buffer and this is also part of the manpower planning saying that this will be the bench bench are those people who who are not linked to any project or not linked to a project that gets you revenues right that's why we call them bench or we call them buffer and these resources can be of course placed very quickly solving madhuri's problem okay but All then right. you need somebody who is at a level that is appropriate for abhi exactly exactly so and how do you decide that uh, so so then ritesh would go back to madhuri and say what is the kind of person you require so i know abhi is going i know he has 5 years of work experience as i said that to be there in the hr database uh and uh, you know he has experience in visualization tools basic data modeling what madhuri will tell him is that uh, this person also so abhi has been managing a team of 2 to 5 people okay along with him because he was going to become a lead uh, lead engineer very soon and he has got a fantastic performance appraisal rating 
in the last two years. So that is something that we would like to for the internal candidate also to have. And these are the criteria that Madhuri will give uh, Ritesh. And there'll also be some other skills apart from visualization tools, basic data modeling. There'll be certain other language as well as platform requirements that Madhuri won't have that she would provide uh, Ritesh with to be able to see what would be the best uh, sourcing from the from the internal sources, either as a, uh, you know, as we saying, people applying for that or people moving from the bench or the buffer. So one of the things you were mentioning, Varsha, is that uh, he has always had a great performance or great appraisal. Right. So can you tell us a little bit about what is this appraisal business? Sure, sure. So, uh, we also saw right right at the beginning saying that an organization typically in the beginning of the year will set out some goals right but that happens at an organization level saying i have to make 500 million us dollars of revenue this year how does a software engineer know what is it that i am supposed to contribute so that the organization makes 500 million dollars of revenue uh, typically, what it would translate to is that the software engineer has to deliver a certain standard of work, a certain number of hours of work, right? Saying that, okay, he has to make sure that every week he has delivered uh, 35 hours of work in this particular project. So a, basically a project that gets revenues, we call it a billable project. And the quality of that work, uh, minimal errors, very little rework, uh, that indicates what the person's performance is. So what is, his, uh, what is his quantum of contribution and what's the quality of contribution? This is something that is measured by all managers um, and that is what is called appraisal. So at the end of the year, I mean, all of us are used to this in academics, right? We get... Uh, uh, we get a CGPA, we get a rank. In organizations, typically we get a rating at the end of an appraisal. And this rating, HR teams use to make decisions about what is the salary hike to give a certain individual. Or for that matter, uh, whether this person is eligible now for a promotion or for a transfer. These are some of the things um, that are looked at from an appraisal. So appraisal is a process the outcome is a rating and the rating is used for other purposes in the organization. Okay. So even when this course is over, we are not going to ex escape exams, right? Nope. Nope. You, <laughs> we always have a label. We always have a rating. <laughs> so uh, actually, that's a very interesting point. Uh, for some organizations, as part of a performance appraisal, there is an assessment that they have to go through to get a certain, so assessments, certifications. So you're not done with uh, exams, you're not done with ratings, and you know, it's, it, it continues right through. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's go back to internal sourcing. Yeah, so um, now, as we said, you know, before Madhuri actually, uh, or Ritesh goes out and looks for candidates outside tech enterprises, uh, he would do a couple of things. He would check what is, uh, you know, uh, are there any internal profiles, internal candidates who match Abhi's requirements? Uh, he would do, he would actually publish all vacancies on the intranet or, or an internal portal. So typically all organizations have this notice board, uh, digital notice board equivalent, uh, where any latest information about the organization is put up there, whether an organization has won a new deal, uh, whether they are looking at um, uh, uh, you know, different kinds of vacancies, or there is a new initiative that has come up, all of that comes up on this intranet. And in most organizations, uh, before you can apply for a new position uh, internally, there have to be certain criteria that uh, that an that an employee has to meet. So, if I am interested in Abhi's role, for example, I have to have say two years of a rating which is meets expectations or above, which is you know an average 
rating or an above average rating i have had to uh, spend at least you know one year or two year in my existing role or in my existing project before i can move to another project so this make sure that you know we have some amount of stability for existing projects also certain criteria where people can apply and what ritesh also does he goes and talks to the resourcing manager typically the resourcing manager is responsible for the bench that we discover or the, that we discussed or the buffer that we discussed and check whether anybody is available right off the bat um who has a similar experience similar expertise and can actually join madhuri's team for abhi's role so that is internal source okay. uh, once ritesh gets all these candidates okay so there is somebody who has applied for this uh, once a promotion or there are three uh, candidates that have come from uh, from the bench uh, these internal candidates are also assessed and that could be a quick short interview it would be uh, figuring out what is the certification that each person has if they have taken any certifications as well as some amount of um, reference from their existing managers if at all and then they are selected for the role uh, once this is done you know obviously the existing manager so for example in this case if it goes to madhuri there might be somebody else who is getting impacted right and that person needs to know that okay i will have to now hire somebody for my project if that person has not been on the bench and usually organizations look at a period of 2 months for transitioning so whoever the replacement is will continue to do his existing job his or her existing role and then move to abhi's role interesting okay so you when varsha you will share with us the data that they were sourced by ritesh from internal candidates i think yes. he got he got responses to his email and Yes, he did. He, yeah, actually, there were some responses, and he has also got some uh, resumes from people of the bench. So now it's between Ritesh and Madhuri to take a call, saying which is the profile that actually fits uh, Abhi's role perfectly. All right, excellent. So Mirinda and I can get to work on that data set, and then we'll revert back to you. All right. Yep. 